So you have your LAN set up, your WAN interface set up, you have your static route and your policy. Now it's time to fine tune your security profiles. Coming up. The following is not a recipe or a cookbook, it's all about fine-tuning tips for your security profiles. So let's start with the antivirus. Now you can configure your antivirus settings using the command line. Let's just get out of what is already on the screen. Config antivirus settings. And from here you can choose, let's just show the full config, you can choose the different databases that you wish to work with. So set default database and you can move between normal, extended and extreme. Be sure to also set the grayware to enable. Grayware are actually apps that are not by definition viruses or malwares. Uh, but these are apps that can harm and decrease your performance, such as adwares. The second thing is web filter, starting from 6.2 or 6.23. You can now block different file types. So you can block zip files, you can block PDF files, you can block Excel files, uh, you can block them on different protocols, so be sure to uh, do so. Another thing about web filtering is that you have proxy options. Be sure to enable proxy uh, inspection mode on your policy. On DNS filter, you can block different botnets. But the thing about DNS filter is that you're actually uh, blocking a domain. You're not blocking a URL. So you cannot block a subset of a domain, which is a URL, but you can block the full IP address or the full domain. So this one will work much faster on your FortiGate than web filtering. So be sure to be aware of that. In application control, you can actually block, override, enable different applications based on their categories. You can also block a category and override a specific application that belongs to that category. You can do it here, application and filter override. You can, and it is a best practice to block quick as Google's uh, new uh, protocol since it actually um, influences your 48 performance and capabilities. Moving on to intrusion prevention, be sure to use IPS, create different and customized signatures if you need, but the most important thing to do is to configure your um, signatures based on the filtering options. If you're targeting clients, uh, be sure to use the client filter. If you're targeting servers, if you're targeting different severity levels or different protocols, be sure to customize your IPS signatures based on the topology on your organization. Now, this is only the tip of the iceberg. There are lots of other configurations uh, that you can do, such as config antivirus heuristic. You can use your web filtering to, with deep SSL inspection to log just about any keywords that your employees are looking for. You can use application control to um, uh, enforce protocols on specific ports, and so on and so on. You can create customized signatures for uh, specific uh, events or specific anomalies that you're looking for. You can create a denial of service policy that is based on different anomalies, but be sure that it will be productive for your purposes.